Alright guys, welcome back to another Noisy Ninjas video. This is another episode in our showcase series. Um, in this one I'm going to teach you guys how to use all of the mods that I use in my Hunt for Hero Brian series. Um, <clears throat> I told you guys I would and I had a little free time today. So I thought, why not? Alright. The first one I'm going to show you is the Hero Brian mod that I use. Um, now, I don't know about you guys, but um, when the Hero Brian myth first came out, I was pretty into it. I wanted it to really exist. I even made the original altar that was thought to do it. Didn't work, of course, but you know. Anyway, um, this is a really fun little mod <clears throat> to make his totem. You need one piece of soul sand, and then you put bones. All right. Now I have 64 down here, so do that. I'm getting peckish. Yeah, I know. I will make that in a minute. All right, and that's how you make his totem. Uh, one second. What? Oh well. Anyway, and now for the um to make his totem, or, well to make the column that his totem is in, you need two pieces of you need two gold blocks. <clears throat> the totem and a piece of another rack. Hey. All right, there's his totem. Now, um, you will know it worked properly when at the bottom you see you don't know what you did, you know, in the text area, and his eyes go from white to red. That's how you know it's working. Now, um. I'm not really going to be able to show you anything because he does stuff randomly, but um, I'm sure you guys have seen enough from my um, Hunt for Hero Brian series with the wonderful job he did yesterday with the pig. That was not even fair. But hey, that was the, what's cool about it, right? Alright, now um, that is the Hunt for Hero Brian series. And it's turning nighttime, but uh, you saw me put the light multiplayer thing on. Now I'm going to show you the instant tent mod. Um, you're going to need a food supply. That's the first thing you need. You need three cooked pork chops, three pieces of bread, my mouse is being really slow, and cake. Three pieces of cake. That makes the food supply, right? Now, um, that only made one, so you'd have to have multiple of cakes and stuff like that to make it. So it, it can be kind of complicated, but it is worth it, trust me. Now to make the tent, you're going to use the food supply. You're going to use a door down here, a bed in that corner. <clears throat> um, now as you can see down here, I have three pieces of wool. Um, three different types of wool because I um, I want to show you guys that you can make different colored tents. Alright, and there's the tent. Now it's food supply, light gray wool, glass, crafting table, furnace, and chest, a bed, a torch, and a wooden door. Alright, then you click, and you have it. That's not even cool. Darn it. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys the other colors as well so let me go ahead and make them if my game wasn't being so slow we're just gonna use normal wool this time oh I need to move more food supply don't I yes I do All right. we're just gonna cheat to get the other food supplies alright and there's a white instant tent And we are going to make a black one as well. There's a black instant tent. Alright. Now, to place them, all you do, because we have three of them, we're going to need a little more room. All you do, really? All you do is go where you want them to be, dig up a hole, do that, and right click the block. As you can see, that is a light gray tent. Alright, 
that is all you do and they come inside with a bed, a small chest, a toolbox, a furnace, and cake. Now anything you put, oops, what? anything you place within the chest after you destroy the tent, it will pop back out so there's no worries about what you lose. Alright, now that's that tent. Let's come over here and show you guys the uh, next color. There's the white tent. Now, um, I'm sure you guys know this tent because this is the one I originally used on my, in my Hunter Herobrine series. But, um, you know. And there's the black tent. So, as you can see, you have three different color tents. And you can make a color for every type of wool. So, um, I love that. He gave you quite a bit of customization you can do. Alright. Now, let's go show you some stuff about the survivalism mod. Now, <clears throat> we all know... Of course they are. We all know that, um... What each of the bars mean. Oh my gosh. So much inventory space. It's insane. Alright, um, now I think the first thing we're going to do is make a water skin, because apparently I'm dying of thirst. All you need is four pieces of leather, and a basic cross shape, and you get an empty water skin. Now to fill up the water skin, go to the water, and right click, and there you have it. Your water skin. Alright, now, um, let's see what else. There's soul orbs, a soul shrine and the energy bars. The energy bars, three pieces of sugar. Oh look. Oh well, that was wrong. That was here, Brian. I'm surprised he hasn't like set something on fire yet. He probably has off in the distance. Anyway, there's your energy bars. And um like I explained in the hunt for my the hunt for here Brian series, they do not do very well for hunger. They're only for energy. So make sure you have other food lying around if you want to conserve your um, your hunger. All right. Now to make the soul orb, four diamonds, and soul sand. That is an inactive soul orb. Um, and to make the um the soul shrine, one piece of redstone, another rack in each corner and soul sand in a cross shape. Maybe it's not that. Oh dear. Mm. I forgot what it was. I could have sworn it was redstone. Hold on guys. I have um the mod open. It is redstone. Oh, uh, that's why. Because I'm stupid. I forgot about the glowstone. Cause it doesn't look like glowstone to me anymore. It's glowstone and redstone, and that makes a soul shrine. Now, to use them, all you're gonna do is place the soul shrine down. Go in here. Place your inactive soul orb up top, and the redstone at the bottom. Now, um, yeah, I've never done this before, so I would think that means it's charging it, and it will eventually pop it out, I hope. It took it. Well, okay, that's wrong. I 
That's not really fair. Okay. Apparently you have to activate it first. <clears throat> As you can see, it's going to charge it. Now, um, yeah, there you go. This is the first little bit. Now, um, for the sake of time, it is slowly charging. It's going to take a lot of redstone, so you have to make sure you have the redstone. Anyway, but I have um, the active one right here. Now what this does, it um, the little hearts up at the top, those are your lives, as anyone who watches my series knows. Um, what you can do is, you consume, yeah, well, I have all of my lives, so. Alright, I'm going to go down myself. Num, 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 num. Come on. Yeah, I guess I could have just killed myself, huh? Oh well. This is more enjoyable, right? Okay. Anyway. Now, as you see, I am missing a heart. You go over here. Apparently I'm wrong about that. Anyway. I don't know. It's not letting me use it. <laughs> nice. Anyway, um but yeah. That's my, that's the three mods that I use the most, and um, I'm sorry that I had to go to the web page to find out how to make some of the stuff, so that's going to be in here, but, you know, I will put a link in the description for each of the mods so you guys have easy access to them, and um, again, I apologize for having to go to the web page. I did my research before, but I kind of forgot everything, and for some reason... I can't get these to work. Once I figure out how to work, I will how to use the life orb. I will put a um I'll put it in the description and probably an annotation so you guys know. All right. Um I hope this video was helpful and it showed you three really good mods and you go out there and get them yourself because these three mods have definitely made my Minecraft experience so much better. It's so much more challenging. All right. Um so until next time, I will see you guys later.